And now a different but extremely interesting story. Nick Rothschild went to uh, Evergreen High School and sat in on their broadcast journalism class. The students put together a morning show, a weekly broadcast. They feature activities and sports at the school. And these kids want to learn all they can now in high school, then take it to college, and then take it to a place like the Denver 7 here. Uh, Nick found out they also take it very seriously. I get to be creative in the way that I tell the story. Okay, Nick, we're molding high school minds, future world leaders, pioneers, be inspiring. I knew that's where I wanted to end up, so that was... My dream job, yeah, is to become somebody like you. All right, not that inspiring. Uh, are these kids coming for my job? When I was about 12 years old, uh, my parents sent me to a sports broadcasting camp, and that really got me, got me going and really found my love for sports and sports journalism. And this is ETV. Oh, I'm in trouble. This is a journalism class in high school? I really can't even put into words like how much this class has meant to me. Like it's kind of, you know, this is really one of the only classes that kind of really gets me into the building. This is kind of why I come to school. We put out an episode every week. Definitely a lot of different segments and everyone can get involved in the class. ETV. Jeez, that's impressive. Back when I was in school, we didn't have anything like this. And now we're on the home stretch. I didn't really know all about broadcasting until I got into this class. Like I didn't think it was going to be this complex. Ah, that's more like me. I mean, you can call me JMO, JMO, <laughs> J-A-M-O. Jameson Davis, kindred spirit. This is a big operation, a crash course in all the joys of journalism. There's a lot of deadlines. Like when I'm making videos for myself, I can post on Instagram whenever. In this class, it's like I have to do it by a certain day. We're producing 14, 15 minute episodes every week and you know in TV time we've realized that a minute is forever. Let's check this out. Good morning Cougars. We're here with the state champions girls swim team. How does it feel to be state champions? We're just speechless. Whoa, so they do all of that on their own? All the camera work and editing and writing? They must be learning a lot. I've learned how to shoot, like how to frame, definitely how to talk in front of a camera, especially with anchoring. That was a bit of a challenge my first time, how to really enunciate. So it definitely helped me out, especially with grammar. When you start out on camera, you, you talk so quickly. You gotta almost talk just a little slower than you would you know, usually talk. How now brown cow, <clears throat> excuse me. More importantly, they're doing good work. We really can give a bunch of people credit for the cool things they're doing at our school because there's programs that don't really get the attention that they deserve and I'm glad that me and everyone else at ETV can kind of give them the light they need. You know, it's actually like something that, you know, I think has made the school a better place, you know, because we're one of the few schools, I think, you know, in Colorado or in America that actually have, you know, something like, you know, TV like we do. I guess if I'm gonna get phased out, I'd want it to be by a group like this. I'm so proud. I, I, I think it's amazing that, you know, I think everybody in this class, you know, has got to feel lucky that, you know, we have an opportunity like this. It's always very fun to watch the episodes and realize that you were a part of that. And all their friends are coming up to them. They're like, I saw you on ETV. It's like, it's cool that we're able to do that for everyone. You know, this is just like, you know, nothing else kind of in the world, or not, not in the world, but just in college. That was, I just screwed up that question. I need to. <laughs> there you go, J-Mo. Lean into it. A lot of retakes usually when I'm, yeah, <laughs> filming sports, yeah, so. It'll take you far. Nick Rothschild, Denver 7 Sports. Great story, Nick. And uh, we'll see those students on the TV screen one day soon. Maybe not too soon. <laughs>